Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Pisces who are watching. So if you have Pisces as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Pisces, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, Pisces, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign. So it may or may not resonate for you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. And also, Pisces, before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, I want to wish all my Pisces sons watching this a happy Pisces season. Happy birthday to you, Pisces. I hope you feel loved, appreciated, supported always, but especially during your season. So once again... A happy birthday message to all of my Pisces sons watching this. Let's go ahead and officially begin here with the energy of love for Pisces. Let's see what we need to know here, please, for my Pisces when it comes to their energy. All right, Pisces, I'm going to go ahead and just take the messages that come out one by one. So we have more of a specific and cleaner read for your reading, but let's see. What we have going on for Pisces, we have our first message. Who is this person making their way towards Pisces? And what's the energy like between Pisces and this person? All right, once again, we have two messages that came out. Let's read both of these, put them back, and we'll pull a specific message. So as extras, we have your on my mind. It's not fair to reach out to you because I'm not sure what I want. And then all of my fears, or all my fears, drop when I'm surrounded by you. We have those two messages as extras. Let's go ahead and keep that message that came out. So first message, we have, I wish I met you years ago. It would have been so much better. Don't lead me on. We're both adults. Don't lead me on. We're both adults. I was afraid to fall in love with you due to the parts of myself I hide. If I'm the one you truly want, then make it known. I'm ready to develop our connection to the next level. And I'm skeptical of you because I'm not used to being treated like this. So Pisces, it seems like this is someone you've already crossed paths with, or someone you already know here. And I feel like it may have been hard to separate or put distance between you and this person, Pisces, because this is not, that's not what you wanted to do here. But I feel like you felt hurt by this person's actions and you, you didn't know what to think about what this would become. Would it become anything substantial? Because I, I feel like there was some back and forth or you felt like you and this person could have been so much farther than you two or where you two were are at currently here so there could be some silence between you two or no movement here and I feel like you feel as though it's up to this person to set the tone clear the air clear the energy break the ice here so let's go ahead and get into your energy Pisces first and I feel like if you do feel fed up or you pulled away it took you some time to reach that point wasn't your first option. I feel like you didn't call it quits even when the first red flag came up or the first deterrence came in the middle of you two. I, I feel like you you were optimistic. But if I'm the one you truly want to make it known your energy, Pisces, you come to me this time. I'm tired of coming to you. And also, I want that reassur reassurance. I want that reciprocation. And I'm honestly not sure what you want. But I'm done fighting to be seen or I'm done trying to get your attention when that part of yourself should already, like, there should be some of you that focuses on me, if that makes sense. I, I wanted to phrase it like 
you should carve out your time for me already. I, I feel like that's your, your stance, Pisces. So if I'm the one you truly want to make it known, you're tired of trying, get, trying to get this person to see you, Pisces. Don't leave me on. We're both adults. What are we actually doing here? What's your true motive, your true intentions here? Because this is not fun. So don't leave me on. We're both adults. Your energy, Pisces. Let's get into, I was afraid to fall in love with you due to the parts of myself I hide. This could be a shared energy here, Pisces, but I feel like you felt called to, or you felt like it was right to share more of yourself with this person, be vulnerable with them, because you were able to establish how you felt and what you wanted with them. So it's like, I feel like this was on the verge of true love for you, Pisces, and you were getting more comfortable with this person in your life. And keeping them in mind and sharing more of yourself to them. Then I feel like this is this person's energy in the way where they were afraid or they are afraid, but they self sabotage this instead and may have broken the trust that they had with you, Pisces. I'm skeptical of you because I'm not used to being treated like this. I, I feel like this is primarily this person's energy, Pisces. Or I shouldn't say primarily. I, I feel like in relation to their energy in this message, there could have been that sense of doubt, that sense of feeling not like not so self reassurant or self confident within themselves, and that's that's on them, Pisces. It's not on you. But seeing the love you have for them, but already thinking about ways that this might go wrong, or them just not having that law of attraction or that positive outlook I should say so I'm skeptical of you because I'm not used to being treated like this this could have also led them to self-sabotage this connection Pisces but also as far as your energy if you may relate to this message it's like I'm skeptical of what's going on here what's going down how this is all unfolding because I feel like we're taking steps backwards and we're not getting to the point where I want to be with you I wish I met you years ago. It would have been so much better. I feel like this is this person's energy. And how I will describe this message, Pisces, is sometimes when we do have things that happen, blockages or really significant moments in our life that impact us, we, we may take it hard internally, of course, or it affects us in some way. So maybe something happened to this person that may be impacted their relationships of course that that does not have to be the case but if anything maybe a couple years ago or at an earlier time it was easier for them to digest a connection like this so i wish i met you years ago it would have been so much better we also have i'm ready to develop the next or excuse me i'm ready to develop i'm ready to develop our connection to the next level feel like this has always been your energy Pisces wanting that mind body soul connection wanting to get deep with this person Pisces but it's like it's not happening and you can only do so much two more messages please one more message for Pisces all right so two messages came out at once we'll take both of those but last but not least we have your source of healing for me We can be independent while still being close. Your love is pure. I was taken aback meeting you. I'm over dating. Show me something different. And last but not least, I'm into you, but let's not rush. We have time. Okay, Pisces. So I do feel like the energy I described remains the same. I feel like as of now, this may be something this person would hope to come back to in the future, it may be too late by them, but I feel like this person feels as though they're not ready to give you the best version of themselves, Pisces. There could be much more to it, but nevertheless, they can't deny or disregard the type of person you've been to them and how blessed they are to have you. But I, I feel like whatever, if this does resonate and you're able to pinpoint some things that need to be worked on between you and this person or this person needs to work on, they may be able to acknowledge that themselves as well so I, I feel like it, it won't happen all at once and sometimes space helps that it makes the process easier 
But I, once again, this person does not deny the person you are. Your love is pure. I was taken aback meeting you. This person learned, Pisces, that you are who you are as far as what you see is what you get. You're not faking it. You're not, you're, you're genuine. You're authentic and sincere. And that's, that's all that they could ask for. So just a very genuine person who does love and they receive your love, Pisces. You're a source of healing for me, this person's energy, Pisces. And maybe there has been hardships or things that you've talked about with this person. And you, you see their potential. You see how they are at their core, but there are, there is hurt that they're working through. Of course, only take what resonates for you, Pisces. But I feel like this person does not want you to be out of their life for good, Pisces. It, it may not be the right time right now. I'm over dating. Show me something different. I do feel like this is your energy, Pisces, wanting something progressive, wanting a commitment, wanting to be on the same page with someone and the communication to be there. So no matter what's going on, you could be understanding to this person's situation. But as far as keeping you in mind, having consideration for your feelings and also communication, that may be what or that may be the least that you expected from this person or what I mean by the lease is that's the bare minimum, you know, because it's, it's a respect thing. We can be independent while still being close. Your energy, Pisces, you handle what you need to handle. And I want to be there for you. But of course, I can't force my way into your life and I can only help you so much. And that's, of course, depending on how you feel, Pisces. But wanting that communication, wanting to at least not become strangers. I'm into you, but let's not rush. We have time. This person's energy, Pisces. And once again, you may be in agreement on this. You come to me when you're ready, so this does not happen. But let's not do the back and forth here. All right, Pisces. As far as signs, we have Gemini. Gemini, as well as Pisces. Scorpio came out. Aries, so Aries, Scorpio, Gemini, Pisces, but Pisces, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today as always. I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.